Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are taking a closer look at the G57 pistol, or should I rather say the Pocket AC42. Well anyways, you get a pistol with insane damage, crazy fire, enough bullets to kill half the enemy team, but also probably the worst ADS recoil in the game. You unlock this gun at level 1 since it's the starter pistol. So now let's jump into its stats. As for ammo types, we only have close combat ammo. Yes, subsonic exists, but you are literally trolling if you used it. As for its damage numbers, we deal 28 damage up to 29 meters. That's the same damage as we deal with the AC-42 by the way. But while we deal the same damage as the AC-42, our TTK is slightly faster faster at 312 milliseconds because we need four bullets to kill so if you have the option to choose between the ac42 and the g57 to kill someone in close range use the pistol you kill the enemy way faster than if you were to try to use the ac42 now that's already insane but what's even better is that as for the gun's headshots multiplier we get a clean two times meaning just one headshot is enough for a one burst giving us a ttk of around 200 milliseconds and if you want to go even crazier, 28 damage per bullet with a 2 times headshot multiplier is enough to 2 tap the enemy with a pistol up to 29 meters in the head for a TTK of 100 milliseconds. That's basically instant. As for its ammo, we will run the close combat drum. This gives us a reload of 245 empty and 263 full. So if you have the option, you're better off just shooting the gun empty and reloading than to try and squeeze in a reload in between. Now with all of the fun stuff the gun comes with, we also have a negative. The gun has the worst ADS recoil in the whole game, but that's not really a problem since we will be hip firing most of the times anyways. So let's go over the gun's attachments. So G57 attachments, real quick, it's a pistol so close quarter scope and holo as always ammo we will run the drum for a 35 round magazine next up we use the close combat extended and then close combat should we ever feel the need to switch as for under barrel we only have the option between a laser sight and a flashlight and since we will be hip firing better hip fire is always more important so laser sight and now for the muzzle the thing with the gun is that since the gun was so strong dice nerfed the gun but instead of like nerfing the damage or the range they just gave it the worst possible horizontal recoil in the game when you ADS so you definitely need to run the Arkham tactical muzzle just for the horizontal recoil decrease even though it increases our vertical slightly it does, isn't really noticeable I also tried running the war compensator since it gives you an overall recoil reduction in both directions but I personally feel like the horizontal recoil is still too much with the war compensator so I rather spec fully into horizontal with a slight vertical increase but yeah, that's basically all for the attachments. Now, as for what specialist you should run the gun with, everybody. This is literally the best secondary in the game. Of course, some would argue the Deagle is the best secondary in the game since you can one-tap headshot, but I think most people are not consistently one-tapping people with the Deagle. And also since the inputs in this game are bugged and don't function really, getting consistent good headshots or good one-taps with the Deagle is nearly impossible. So for almost like everybody, even for myself, I prefer the G57 over the Deagle, even though sometimes if I feel good and have a good day, I might swap to the Deagle, but overall, this should be a go-to secondary on everybody. So now in conclusion, should you run this gun? Yes, absolutely. You can't really run it as a main gun, anymore or at least you can't run it as effectively as you could back in the day but since we get AR damage up to like 29 meters you can two tap with the pistol up to 29 meters with burst fire 35 round drum mag it's insane it's like a pocket m16 or ac42 what it's called in this game you get insane stopping power the hip fire is crazy you can even hip fire up to like 15 20 even like 25 meters if you are really lucky so the gun overall is just insane the only sad part really is that the ads recoil is just so bad if the ADS recoil were good, I think the gun would be completely broken. But since it's so bad, you can only have fire. It's the perfect backup gun, especially if you run like a PP29 on, on Redacted or something. You can get so many kills with your primary. You run out of ammo, you just swap to the pistol. You can easily get like five or six people more with the magazine. And if you have really good headshot aim, you can get like 10 people since you two tap basically in a three round burst. So it's just crazy. This honestly should be your main gun. It's even better than like the super 500 as a backup or anything else so go ahead and use it but that's basically it for the gun if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future battlefield content thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one